Oh, sorry. <laughs> Are you walking backwards? I'm doing the walking backwards challenge. I'm going the whole way. Ooh, that could have been a disaster. It's more dangerous than it looks. Well, we just completed the entire loop around Ankyo Reservoir. Ankyo, Ankyo. Close enough, I guess. It's around five o'clock now, so the sun sets maybe in 20 minutes or so, half an hour. I'll try to get some shots of the sun as it sets behind Doi Setep, the mighty mountain behind the lake here. Apparently this lake is man-made and it supplies the university with drinking water. So when we passed by the faculty of law, there was a processing plant that I guess it purifies the water and then sends it over to the campus facilities where the students can drink the water. As you can see, there's a lot of new graduates here. Graduation day for some students. Congratulations for anyone who's watching and just graduated from the University of Chiang Mai, Chiang Mai University. This is a great place to just enjoy a nice little walk if you want some peace and quiet. There's lots of people running around, getting some exercise. I was trying to figure out a unique way to do this video. I was looking at some other people's videos of this area recently and uh, they had some great ideas, you know, and they show a lot of the sites and stuff. But I was trying to think of a way to make this one original. Had to take a time out there and get a shot of the sun going down behind the mountain. This is the best time to come here, right around sunset. So as I was saying, I was trying to think of an original idea for this video because a lot of other people did footage around this place. There was one by Wayne. He sort of talks about the philosophy of life and the importance of ex exercise, which was interesting. And then another one uh, I noticed, um, her name is Ruth. She's Thai from Chiang Mai and she did one where she was just running around here doing some exercise and she had some really nice kind of cinematic shots um, so that was cool too. So I was just thinking like, well, how can I make this video a little different? And when I was walking backwards, uh, across the other side of the lake there, like right behind me on that side, I was walking backwards and I was thinking, why don't I do a sort of a silly video of me just walking backwards and see how many people notice? And maybe some people would join in. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that, but when I was looking at uh, walking backwards on Google, I just did a quick search. And apparently there's like tremendous health benefits, both mentally and physically, of walking backwards. I'll see if I can remember. Like the mental benefits are improving short-term memory. And... If you have some memory problems or maybe there's some anxiety you have, apparently walking backwards helps with those conditions. And like they had scientific studies done on it, which is super interesting. Yeah, because you normally don't walk backwards, it's like something new for your brain. And it, I guess it activates certain neurons or certain pathways in your brain that have been dormant for a while. So there's mental benefits and the physical benefits are, I think, improving knee problems because you don't normally use those muscle groups when, you, when you're walking backwards. And also I think your calf muscles, it helps that too, helps strengthen them. So if you have knee problems or calf problems or just leg problems in general, like muscle issues, try walking backwards. Apparently it helps and there's studies to prove it. 
I'll look it up and see if there's any other things I'm missing that are significant. Okay guys, I got my cheat sheet here. I found all the benefits of walking backwards for your mind and body. Here they are. So, mental health benefits according to healthline.com. Walking backwards gives you an enhanced sense of body awareness, increased body coordination, helps avoid workout boredom, improves overall mood, helps with sleep cycles, motivates you to step outside your comfort zone, keeps your mind guessing, sharpens your thinking skills and enhances cognitive control, puts senses into overdrive, and improves vision. I guess that's mental, more physical, I'd imagine. And the physical benefits are the body benefits. Walking backwards increases strength in lesser used leg muscles, like I said there before while we were walking. Um, it also helps rehabilitate knee injuries, improves walking technique and form, helps with your balance, burns calories, helps you maintain a healthy weight, it strengthens bones and muscles, boosts your energy levels, and elevates your body's metabolism. And much, much more. I'm gonna have to try it out to finish off this video. You gotta conclude it properly, right? I'm gonna walk backwards to the starting point and see what happens. See how many, many, uh, see how many looks I get. I'll try to get people to join in too. All right, let's give it a shot. I'm gonna start this exercise by the fallen tree, just by the edge where the Memorial Park shoots out right here. So. Here we go, walking backwards, back to the beginning. I can kind of cheat because I can see the screen here. I won't look at the screen, I'll just look at the lens. I'm just looking to see if anyone catches on. I haven't gotten any looks yet. Maybe when I first started out, when there was that couple taking the picture, perhaps. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, are you? Are you, doing, are you walking backwards? I'm sorry. I'm doing a walking backwards challenge. I'm going the whole way. <laughs> Ooh, that could have been a disaster. It's more dangerous than it looks. Okay, we're one minute in. No, minute and a half in or so. When you're walking backwards, you can look behind you. It's not against the rules. I may have to cheat a bit here, walk sideways. That's annoying, but yeah, it's their country, your country, your rules. I can feel my short term memory improving already. calves are feeling a bit stronger, my knees a little looser, the heart rate's getting up too, starting to burn some belly fat, burning all those burgers I ate, all that burger meat. If you guys haven't seen the burger episode, I'll leave a link in the description. I tasted the, I did like a, kind of like a burger challenge, I ate a burger for 10 days, not straight, almost straight, maybe every second day or so I had a hamburger and I review the best hamburgers in Chiang Mai and I'll leave links to Wayne's video and Ruth's video. I quite enjoyed both of them so check those out as well. They're not walking backwards but they had a lot of good advice.
This experience should be on everybody's bucket list. Highly recommended. Gotta watch out for tree branches. We are four minutes into this experiment. I can feel any stress I have melt away. Honestly, the most stress I've had today was when I first entered this park area, I stepped into a bunch of mud. If you're entering around the campus area and there's like this hill that goes up, it's really, really mucky. It's hard to see, but I stepped in it and my shoes got all muddy. It's okay, I gotta wash them anyway. It's good timing. Getting into a crowded area, gotta be careful here. Their daughter's like, what's that guy doing? What's wrong with him? Why is he walking backwards? <laughs> All right, I guess that's the end. So that was, that took like five minutes. I walked backwards for five minutes. Almost had a disaster at the beginning, but luckily no damage was done. No cameras were broken. All right, guys, it's time to wrap up this episode. I hope you found that somewhat entertaining and educational. Yeah, definitely come to Angkiao Reservoir and the Chiang Mai University campus. It's just a gorgeous setting and try to come around sunset. And of course, try walking backwards. Just keep an eye out behind you. All right, I'll see you in the next episode. See you soon.